Dynamite Town Low. First, tell us a little bit how you and Jake became a thing and when you come right. to came to AEW and then and secondly, where are you at now? Yeah. Where where are you at now? Where's uh what's going on <laughs> with that uh that that relationship? You know, Jake has been beyond helpful and invaluable in my career. And the whole point of having Jake with me when I arrived in AEW was I, you know, I've been a part of wrestling for coming up on 24 years. Um, but the bulk of my career, and especially at that point coming into AEW, had been spent in Japan. And, you know, whereas I had a, a, a decent t stint in TNA, uh, a very short small cup of coffee in wwe yep. i'd been away from the american wrestling scene for like nine years at that point um so you know the hardcore wrestling fans in new japan had really gained a lot of ground worldwide mm -hmm. ar around 2019 which was probably one of my strongest years as a, as a singles wrestler um so people had started to pay attention but again you had to be a a true blue wrestling fan that was looking for different alternatives in wrestling and, and new japan was truly becoming that at the time but for a lot of the american casual fans either a they only remembered me more or less as what i did in tna the rock and rave infection was probably the one thing that gets brought up more than anything um but you know that was back in the early 2000s so now i'm re-entering the american wrestling scene jake the snake roberts is an absolute icon and legend in the business um, I appreciate you saying that I cut good promos, but nobody can touch Jake the Snake Roberts. Yeah. And I think he helped give a voice to the Murder Hawk monster. I knew what mm -hmm. to do when I stepped in the ring. I knew what to do when that entrance music hits and I walk out that curtain and I'm beating the crap out of somebody before I even get to the ring. I knew how to be me all the way to the ring, in the ring, and out the ring and back to the uh, behind the stage. But speaking and finding that voice for the murder hawk monster was something that i didn't have just yet and he was the the kind of the bridge between you know who i was in japanese wrestling and new japan pro wrestling to what i was going to become in aew and, and american wrestling um and then he's helped me tremendously you know some of those promos that i got to do early on on the darks and things like that uh the little bit of time that i had with sting on dynamite a, a couple times back then a lot of that learning to speak and and be the murder hawk monster through voice and not just action came from what he was able to teach me the mm -hmm. dark was invaluable in that moment because we were given the time and opportunity to go out there and again there were really no fans there were a few extras that were being our fan base at the moment but we were just speaking to an audience that was watching at home whether it was if it was dark you were watching it on youtube if you were you know if it got to be on dynamite you were watching it on uh tnt at the time now tbs um you know it, it, he helped me learn how to voice the murder hawk monster not just be the destructive force that i was from curtain to curtain but yeah. also that moment of, of solace and somberness that he can bring that nobody else can do. Um, now, fast forward, you know, it's it's not that Jake's not still valuable in that sense, because Jake will always be valuable to myself, to the business, to anybody who's willing to step to him and go, hey, help me in these promos, help me voice my own character, because he's one of those guys that can take two words and turn it into an entire promo <laughs> that you will have chills from. Yeah. Um, so there's very few that can accomplish that. Now, you know, again, curtain to curtain, that's my space. That's that's where I reign supreme. And, you know, there's times when Jake gets a little ahead of himself and decides to put his hands on guys. And Ooh. that's where the little uh, discourse comes from is, you know, him choosing to uh, clothesline a couple guys and punch a couple guys. And, you know, like when Hangman and I had that, that title match, you know, he set him up for that DDT. That's not his moment. It's yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And so that's where that little that little wavering comes from. He's little getting that itch to get back from. in that squared circle. He sees yeah. how he better be well. careful because his <laughs> opponent might be Murder Hawk Lance here. <laughs> yeah. You know, I have absolutely all respect in the world for Jason yeah. Nick Roberts and everything he has done, is doing, and will do for me. Uh, but you know, he needs to know his role. <laughs> 